and moms out there. Besides a quick weeknight meal, something else you might enjoy, a glass of wine. But you may want to reach for a natural wine. We'll tell you why. Whether it's red, white, sparkling, or flat, sometimes there's no better way to unwind than by drinking a glass of wine. But the wine in your glass may not have been made in a natural way. Here to educate us on natural wines is Zach Grossclose. He's a wine director at Crew Cellars in Tampa. Welcome back to the show. Welcome. Glad to be here. Good morning. First question, what is natural wine? Well, natural wine, the way to think about natural wine is that it's basically wine that's made minimally with not much intervention. When you buy conventional wines, there are lots of tricks um, that winemakers can use to manipulate the final product. Mm -hmm. But with natural wine, the winemakers are saying, I'm not gonna use any of those tricks or shortcuts. Mm. I'm basically gonna grow the grapes and give you what nature has to offer for that particular year. Well, I thought it was interesting you said this is kind of like the similar push that we're seeing with just wanting to eat more healthfully and naturally. Yeah. How does this, what are the advantages to drinking natural wine and how does it affect the taste? Okay, so the taste, sometimes it doesn't affect the taste very often. It depends on who the particular producer is and what they're trying to say. But one of the health advantages that you get with winemaking, if you're conscious of ingesting sulfites, mm -hmm. which a lot of people are aware of that these days, you, these wines don't have any additional sulfites. Uh, and as well, if you're conscious of or having your produce farmed organically, all of these wines stylistically almost always will be farmed organically as well. Okay, so. okay. perfect. Good to know. Now we're going to try out some wine and Kendall and I are going to see if we can pick out the natural wine. I Is have right? no faith in myself. <laughs> okay. Do you? We'll see. I, I... Yeah. I don't know. So we're, we're going to start with some rosé from the south of France. Rosé everybody loves right now, right? Right. Um, crisp, dry, perfect for our climate and for our, this great seafood that we have from Tampa Bay. That's very true. Yeah, we're going to try two different versions of rosé. Cheers. Okay, so yeah. we don't know if this is natural or conventional? We do not know. If You do not know which one is which. So we'll just try two and then we'll see hmm. what you think. All right. Okay, you get the idea. Oh, okay. do I need to just chug this so that we have room <laughs> glass-wise? Do we? You can absolutely, if you like. Me. Not at all. Go ahead. Go first. That's, that's what wine's all about. I don't ever do that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> what time is Not it? Not since college. Nine twenty-six. <laughs> just a splash. Yeah, just and a this splash. One you don't have to finish. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this is another version of rosé. Like a palate cleanser. <laughs> yeah. So you're having another dry, crisp red that you would have with seafood, probably, or you would have out by the pool uh, I on a Saturday no afternoon. I have no clue. I'm gonna say this the natural one. You're going to Purely say, a guess. Door number one is the natural Door number one, one yeah. Vote? Okay. I'll just go with the second because I have no clue. Okay. Oh, no, right. You're right. Um, well, it's door number two. Ah. This is natural? This is natural, okay? So they don't add any additional sulfites. The grapes are farmed organically. It's not fined or filtered, and they don't use um, store-bought yeast in order to ferment the wine. Okay. And I'm impressed. Huh. I really don't. I mean, they're both There's not much good. of a difference. Yeah. yeah. You know, st the grapes are very similar. They're both from the south of France. It's just that one is made minimally here, and right. this one's a little bit more manipulated product. Okay. Um, okay. To engender, you know, this sort of clean style. But Try one more. Okay, one more. We can see how do we one do. more version really quickly. Everybody knows um, Chardonnay, right? Who yeah. has not Chardonnay? Right. So we're going to taste two different versions of Chardonnay. Okay. Um, so that was a and tell us about this first one. This first one is Chardonnay from California. Okay. Oh, good morning. Yes. <laughs> Breakfast time. Chardonnay from California, which you've had a million times and everybody loves. We sell a ton of it at Crew Cellars in South Tampa. I got to get this one right. That's good. Yeah, right? So that's Chardonnay. That's probably something that you've had before. Okay. Now we're going to taste another one. Another 100% Chardonnay. But this I should have eaten more sliders before this. <laughs> <laughs> this one is from Chile. Also, mm. the same grape, 100% Chardonnay, but this Ooh. one's from Chile. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I'm going to say <laughs> this one. I'll go with the other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go that way. So this one with the funny packaging, I think, is the um, natural wine. Yeah! So I thought there was going to be more of a difference. I may not know the difference, right. but that they were really going to taste... I think when natural wine first came on the scene, that was a big problem. They, huh. People didn't really understand all the variables involved with making natural wine, so mm -hmm. there was a little bit of variation, yeah. but now okay. people are getting much better at producing them, so they're much um, 
more approachable on a daily basis. Awesome. That was interesting. Thank you so much. We learned so yeah. much. Yeah. Korea is not only the perfect place to drink and purchase natural wine. You can get it there. Yeah. It's also a delicious dinner spot. So for more information, just go to CruiseSellersTampa.com. Thank you, Zach.